how to make file labels online. It is myorganized.life, April 26, 2018. Well, welcome as you notice my partner is gone today. So uh, this is myorganized.life live. I'm doing it solo today. I am John Hunt and I am Leanne Thompson. Actually, no, Leanne is down in Chicago, probably just landed a little bit ago uh, on her way over to the NAPO retreat and we will uh, hook in with her later, uh, get some live reports uh, tomorrow on the show. So make sure you tune in here tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central Time, right on Facebook for our live reports from NAPO. Uh, anyway, uh, today is Thursday. So normally on Thursday, uh, Leanne has got some great solutions uh, for you to, uh, you know, some product solutions, things that uh, help you overcome certain problems. Well, today uh, we are gonna talk about how you can make file labels online. And of course, we're gonna talk about our viewables.com online label creator, which is free, because this week uh, we are doing uh, Admin Professional Week. Yesterday was uh, Admin Professional Day, and we have a special offer at myorganized.life where we're giving 25% off all of our viewables file labeling products. So we're gonna show you, if you've never heard about viewables before, uh, we're gonna show you a couple little tutorials. I'm gonna do some on-screen demonstration of how to uh, create a label using the Viewables Online Label Creator. The only thing you need are those uh, Viewables labels and tabs, uh, which you can get at myorganized.life, smeed.com, uh, from your local office supply uh, dealer. But once you get those, you can go on to viewables.com and use the online label creator. We're gonna show you how that works today. But I also wanna give you our discount code for myorganized.life. So if you go to myorganized.life, you go to the viewables uh, collection page where it shows the different viewables products, you'll see that you can get 25% off by using the coupon code admin day, A-D-M-I-N-D-A-Y. So uh, go there, you can get 25% off, that's through April 30th. So if you're not watching live here, you're watching on the, uh, on the replay, uh, either on Facebook or on YouTube, and you haven't yet uh, got your discount, if it's before April 30th, you can get 25% off Viewables products. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna do a couple little screen. We're gonna get online here and I'll show you how this actually works. And uh, first, I think I'm gonna show you a little video though of kind of an overview of the Viewables Online Label Creator. And then I'll get into a tutorial on how to actually create a label how you can bring in a text or a file that has a bunch of file headings already created and it will do that for you and then also printing a label. So let's start first by watching this little overview, uh, overview video on the Viewables online label creator. When you've got it together, everyone can tell. Your confidence is obvious. Introducing Viewables.com from Smeed. Use the Viewables labeling system to transform your drawer of hanging files into a tidy, organized filing system. Using the premium hanging folder tabs, see the label from the front, top, and back. It's easy. Access Viewables.com from any computer, tablet, or internet-enabled smartphone. Let's make some labels. It's free, and there's nothing to download or install. Choose the label type and format your label just the way you want. You can even add index characters or icons for distinctive filing. Set up a free Viewables Cloud account and your secure login lets you save your projects for convenient access from any computer. And with Viewables multi-purpose labels, you can use one label for any type of file, including hanging folders, top tab folders, super tab folders, or oversized items like notebooks and file boxes. Upload a list of file headings and print your complete set of labels in moments. There's even a library of templates for commonly used label sets. It's never been easier to set up neat looking files that have easy to read headings and efficient color codes. Obviously organized. Viewables.com From Smeed, keeping you organized. 
All right, well, that's our overview. So I want to now uh, take you through some uh, screen shares. I'm gonna hop on my computer and we're gonna show you how easy it is to create a label using Viewables. And, and remember, Viewables is an online label creator. So there's nothing to download. You, you can use this on a Mac or a PC or on a smartphone, on an iPad. And then uh, as long as you're connected to the internet, you can use it. So you go to viewables.com uh, to access it. And we'll talk uh, here first uh, just about creating a account. So why would you wanna create a Viewables ac an account? Well, that's because it's all stored on the cloud and you can save your projects, your label projects. Uh, if you need to reprint or go in and take a, a former set of labels and revise them, you can do that. And what's nice about the cloud account is that you can access it from any device. So say you add some with your phone, add some labels into your cloud account, and then uh, maybe you want to print them on your desktop uh, machine later because it's hooked to the printer, you can do that. So uh, it's a free cloud account and you can save your file labels there. And let's get into now a tutorial on exactly how you set up a free Viewables cloud account. We're going to show you how to create your free Viewables cloud account. Now when you come to viewables.com and you're not logged in, you'll see this welcome screen. Now you can choose a label type and determine whether you want to continue as a guest or log in or create a viewables account. Now if we hit login and we don't have a viewables account, we'll be presented with a screen where we can create our free viewables account. Creating a free viewables cloud account allows you to save and access your labels from the cloud for free at any time from any computer. You'll also get access to exclusive Smeed label templates and special labeling icons for even greater flexibility in organizing your files. Plus you'll be the first to receive notice of helpful organizing tips and product enhancements. To create a viewables cloud account, click the Create a Viewables Account button. You'll need to enter an email address, enter your first name, and then type in your desired password two times. Now note, the password must be at least eight characters and contain one number. You will also need to accept the terms of use and conditions. There's also a checkbox here about receiving email from Smeed. Why would you want to do that? You can click this little box and you find out that receive information on new features and product enhancements and stay up to date on strategies for getting and staying organized with viewables by Smeed. Please note, we do not sell or rent your email address to anyone. Once you've done this, you just click the create button. And now you're all set with your free viewables cloud account. You can now start creating some labels. You can log out at any time by clicking the log out button or the next time you come back you'll automatically be logged in and your projects will be available to you. Having your own Viewables Cloud account allows you to save your projects into your projects area and also use the Smeed templates. Once you have your Viewables.com Cloud account, anytime you want from any device you can come in here to the login screen, enter your email address and your password and you can be logged in. Okay, so. Now that you've got your free cloud account taken care of, uh, now let's get into basic uh, making of labels and we're going to do it a couple different ways. First, we're going to start by showing you how to create a label just by going into viewables.com and simply typing in what it is you want to create your label for. So let's do that now. We're going to show you how to create a label in Viewables. It's really quite simple. Now, if you already have a label in your project, it will be showing in the label editor. But say you want to create a new label, you'd come here and hit the Start a New Label button. Now, it will keep the formatting of the previous label that you had in the editor, but now what you can do is you can go up and choose what label style. We happen to have it on 3D tab now, but say we want to go to a top tab format, we can click that here and then just go in and start creating the label. Once we like what we have, we can hit save and it'll save it to our project and we'll be ready to print our label. 
Now let's say you have a set of labels, uh, a set of headings, file folder label headings, and you have them on uh, either maybe an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file, and you'd like to import those into viewables and make a label for each. You know, one thing that people do is they'll do their Christmas card list this way. They'll have their address list on an Excel file, they'll import it in, and using the oversized label, which is just about the right size for a mailing label, you can actually do mailing labels this way as well. So in this next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take a CSV file or an Excel file, import it into viewables so that it will create the labels for you. So let's watch that now. We're gonna show you how to import file headings that you've saved on either a CSV or text file. Now you'll have a project open. You can either add to an existing project or start a new project by going to My Projects. To import your file headings, just come down here to the bulk upload data icon and click that. Now it will tell you that in order to do this, you need to use the CSV template that we can provide. Uh, what you would do is download this template, add your particular file headings to the various uh, file fields, and then you import that up with your data into your project. This is what it looks like when you download the template. The Smeed Viewables import template will pop up and you'll notice there's a header with line one, line two, line three, and line four. Then you would go into the following uh, rows before adding the different file headers that you'd want. Let's just say we want to say this is going to be a test label, um, line two, test, line three, and we'll just add that. We're gonna save this to our uh, desktop and we wanna save that as a CSV file. That's really important. And we're gonna save it to our desktop. And of course you wanna say, yes, I wanna leave those features out because you don't want it to save it as an Excel file. You wanna save it as a template. Okay, so now we're gonna import that file and we'll go to our desktop and we'll find that particular file, Smeed Viewables import template. You can name it anything you want. Um, it's gonna bring it in and the file is imported. You hit close and you'll notice now that our test label here has been imported. That's how you bring in label file headings into Viewables. All right, well now that we've got our labels created, whether we typed them in online or uh, if we um, use the import function, now we have to print them. This is gonna be a real simple uh, print tutorial. What's nice about the online label creator and, and when you create your own account is viewables will, rem will remember how many labels you used on your last sheet. And we'll see that here in this tutorial on how to print a label. It will show you how to print a label using viewables.com. Once you have your label created and you've saved it, come over to the right hand side and click the print selected labels icon. This will print all labels in your project that have a check mark next to them. Then Viewables will pull up a sample sheet of labels. Now if you've used Viewables before, it will show you which labels that should be used on your current sheet. Now if you haven't used any labels, you can uncheck and there you'll have your labels there. Or if you say use the first label but not the second or any of the others on the page, you can click whatever labels are used on the particular page that you're gonna put into the printer. We would then hit the continue button and Viewables will put up a PDF preview of your label. Now you noticed here we had the first label checked as used, so it puts it in the second position. This shows you exactly the way it's gonna look on your printer. You can then, since this is a PDF, print this right to your printer by clicking the print icon on your PDF. It'll ask what printer you wanna use and print just like you would any other normal sheet. When you're finished, you can close the PDF and it will ask if your label's printed okay. Uh, if yes, hit yes. If no, it'll ask you if you need to adjust your printer alignment. If you do that, you can follow the instructions by adjusting either the left or top margin on a blank sheet of paper, uh, putting it into your printer, and then you can uh, preview how that alignment will look. It'll again bring you up a PDF that you can print out, 
and we'll show you are things in alignment or not, and then you can uh, adjust accordingly. Again, printing this on regular paper before you use a viewables label. And you save and close that when you've determined the exact margins that you want to use to adjust to your printer. All right, well, there you go. Uh, those are our tutorials for today. Uh, you can go to viewables.com, play around with it. You, can, you don't have to sign up for an account. You can use it as a guest. And if you want that special offer of 25% off Viewables products, you can get that by going to myorganized.life, looking for the Viewables Labels co collection, and then entering in the coupon code ADMINDAY, A-D-M-I-N-D-A-Y, and you'll get 25% off your order. That's through April 30th because we're celebrating Admin Week. All right, well, that's about it for today's show. Tomorrow, Friday, um, we're going to do a blogger roundup in a little bit different way because Leanne is going to be at the NAPO show. Uh, and maybe we'll get some bloggers on live. If not, we'll find some of our professional organizers and get an update on their annual retreat. So that should be fun. Join us tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, right here on Facebook. You can always watch the replay on Facebook or on our YouTube channel or at myorganized.life. And we'll see you tomorrow on myorganized.life live. Mm -hmm.